Here's how you can help. Number one, subscribe to my channel. Number two, make sure you share, like, and comment on all of my videos. And number three, which is the most important, make sure the video plays all the way through. Even if you're not watching it, you can mute it and look at something else and let the video just play all the way through. This helps the YouTube algorithm push my video to a lot more people. And without further ado, please enjoy the video. Welcome to episode <laughs> 11. I actually remember the number this time. Ooh, uh, I'm episode 11, you. yeah. I'm so proud of you, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> and we late, because we've been up in here doing all this talking. Talking, now. right? <laughs> Episode 11 of the Unrestricted Podcast, and I have a mm -hmm. very special guest. This woman does it all. <laughs> Hollywood actress, mm -hmm. uh, re goddamn recording uh, artist. <laughs> I can't get the words out. Uh, she, international model. Oh. And a lot of people don't know, I didn't put this in the fire. They want this to be something, you know, for the show. But on top of that, a scientist, a real life, real deal, holy field scientist. Yes. Um... Chase Batiste, everybody, welcome. Thank hey. you so much for being here. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> um, shit, let's dive in. Let's, um, how are you doing? First of all, I ain't seen you since. Oh, my God. I don't even remember. Um, it had to, Yeah, I was, I was trying to think about it on my own last night without going in my pictures and stuff. Yeah. I want to say. It's been a couple of years. It's probably one of the cons. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely one of the cons. I want to say it was that when we did that real quick photo shoot. Remember you had the maroon dress? We always do like the real quick photo shoot. But no, that was like, that held a That was the epic one, though. Yeah, yeah, that was, that, yeah, the, that was the, the epic Yeah, <laughs> we got you up on that, that, that ledge. ledge, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that picture made a lot of noise. Yeah, it did, it, it did. did. I'd like to put that up on the video version, put it to the yeah. side or something. <laughs> yeah, um... Oh. <laughs> Damn, I'm trying to think that, and I forgot what year that was. That had to be 2017. Yeah, Octoberish. It was about 2017. Yeah. I think it was June. It was. Yeah, June. yeah, you're right. Cause it was it hot. Was yeah. That, um. So that was Space City Con. Yeah. Was it? I think so. NRG. That was that con where like they didn't pay the people. It had all that. That, that was stuff. the one. Yeah, I'm talking the about sons of NRG. Okay. Yeah. 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 Everybody was mad. Mm, I remember that one. But then again, we didn't see each other in a while. Because then again, I think I saw you at a comic palooza mm -hmm. after that. Because remember, they had some of the Son of Anarchy people there because those customers got screwed. Remember, comic palooza stepped up. Yeah. And I think and I remember took care of everything. Yeah, because yeah, comic yeah. palooza is always solid. But yeah, yeah, I had never definitely. been to Space City or whatever it was. And it was kind of ratchet. It was. It <laughs> It was. You know it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was. It was. It, it, it was. It was a mess. I had ne never seen anything like that. Like never. Like someone just woke up and said, "Shit, we gonna put a con together we just and throw just come together." <laughs> just wow. hope for the it best. It was a con. Yeah. Like a con, because people didn't get. Paid. Oh, I got. I see your play with you words know, there. Yeah, con artists. They didn't yeah. get paid. Like that. So yeah. Yeah, you're right. So that. we got to do another shoot. So we gotta set that up. I was I was gonna get to that. Yeah, I was yeah. gonna get to that. But not to Yeah, yeah. Of course not. Yeah, you're busy. Yeah, yeah you're. Yeah. I'm super busy. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. Whenever you're ready, uh, just please don't 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 wear any Aggie gear, please. No, that's what yeah. I was gonna wear for you. I was gonna put the jersey on because I know how much you love. Nah, them. I don't. I don't like the Aggies at <laughs> <and> College <laughs> Station. Yeah, no, you, you do. You told me I was your favorite. Nah, nah. Because everybody. that's that's what I had in mind to do. Nah, I, I'll pass. I recommend another photographer for that. You know. Um, Okay, well, they're going to shoot with the best, then. So you're going to miss out. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'll Photoshop it out and put U of H and change the color. U of H? Yeah, hell yeah. Cool, yeah. You know what? I'm not going to even say nothing. U of H is a very good school. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. You know, it's a step down from A&M, but... Oh, wow. I'm just kidding. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... It's a very good school. It's a very respected school. It's just mm -hmm. because that's your school. Trust. So, you know, we have this little banter that's been going back and forth yep, for, for years. Yep. I have nothing so against I you out. of age. I, I mean, I think it's, you know, it is a really good school. Thank you. You know, we... we I don't we need gotta, nobody coming for me. I was about to say, <laughs> man, you know, the U of H community on Twitter, we kind of... We kind of yeah, tight. They go to... Um, like yeah. Hive. U of H yeah, Hive. Yeah. Even the, the uh, athletes come for you. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, see, I'm not trying to have all like, What you, what you say? Oh, hell no. Nah. Like, hey. By the way, I I love you. <laughs> yes. Go Cougars. Yes. Go Cougars. There you go. Go. Ah, <laughs> oh, so let's just dive in. What do you want to know? 
where, where you're from? How did you start with your humble beginnings on that? Well, I'm a Texas gal, as you can hear, my southern charm and yeah, my accent. Twang. I got the twang, got the thing. Yes. Um, I was born in Galveston, grew oh, okay. up in Fort Worth, went to Texas A&M. Don't choke over there. She's <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I take a sip of water, and I was waiting for that part because I wanted to say boo. Yeah, but you missed out, so you know, the next, you know, and moved to Houston. So, like I said, I'm a Texas gal, like, all around Texas. I okay. Love it, so, love it. So, um, what made you go to A&M of all the schools? Honestly. And what did you major in? Honestly, that my mother mm -hmm. was the reason I went to A&M because I was a national, they had the National Merit in Macy Scholars or whatever, so mm -hmm. I was a National Macy Scholar. Okay. And so I got the invitation to go to Cornell. That's where I wanted to go. Oh, nice. Okay. And so uh, my mom, I was young, so I graduated young. Okay. And my mother she was, uh, I was 16 when I was done with school. And so oh, nice. Was, <laughs> okay. You're young, young. Hey, was okay. You was a kid. Okay. And yeah. And so my mom didn't, she felt I was too young. So I stayed an additional year and just took like, you know, the AP college courses yeah. to kind of get ahead in, in school. Yeah. And she just kind of was like, I appreciate it if you would just go to A&M or somewhere local mm -hmm. and stay. Just because I was young and she's like, if you felt like you want to go yeah, the next sense. year, that makes sense. then yeah. go. You know, because it's in New York. Yeah. And so I ended up going to Texas A&M. I tried to submit my application late so that way they would deny it. What? Yeah, I tried to do that. Oh, so, that way, you? <laughs> so that way I yeah. wouldn't have to go to yeah. Texas A&M. I waited till after the deadline mm -hmm. and then I sent it in. They were just like, congratulations. We'd like to welcome you into our biomedical science program and blah, oh. blah, blah. So yeah, I got in and I ended up at A&M. Okay, so. okay. Huh. And I loved it. Once I got there, I actually really loved it. So. What you nice. like about it? You know, a lot of people. <laughs> I'm not just asking a legit question. I'm trying to understand, you know, as you know, as you know, as an LSU and U of H guy, I'm just trying to understand, you know. It's just when you're on the campus, it's mm -hmm. just like a certain kind of vibe that it had, and everybody was was actually really dope. Like people there was so nice and just. I mean, I love it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Like it's, it's all right. It's, it's nice, gorgeous. It's nice, it's nice campus. It's all right. Yeah, you, you know, you hating on it. Everything I mean, about it is. Just stop. It's okay. everything. I mean, I like y'all. Um, um, what? The veterinarian what? school. That's nice. Yeah, what? See, that's what yeah. that's the school that I was under. Okay. So I okay. was under the College of Veterinary Medicine. Okay. So, mm. but yeah, beautiful, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. nice. Just it's, it's, it's he just hating. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you're such a hater. I'm just, you gotta thank you. It. I mean, I gotta be good at something. You know, I'm good at hating. You, yeah. you got that down hater. to a science. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate that. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> you got to a science. Sorry, you know, remember, that, remember that Dave Chappelle skit, the player hater of the year. Remember, it was an old Chappelle oh, show skit. Remember that? Class. Yeah, that's like, you. Yeah, I want to. I'm going to go for nominations. Okay, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. I at least want to be nominated. No, so. you won. Yeah, it's the Petty Award. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Petty. The Petty Award. Petty Tindergrass. Petty like Tindergrass. Yeah. Yes. I might make another Twitter account and put it <laughs> under that. Yeah, it, yeah. So, uh, under science, what made you of all the things to major in science? Because I didn't find out you was a scientist until. That Space City Con, because you was talking to a guy, and I overheard the conversation. Mm -hmm. I was like, because I only knew you as a model working with with Dicey. I was like, the fuck, she a scientist? The fuck, she <laughs> know microscopes and shit? Oh shit, you know. <laughs> and I was such a nerd because as a child, and mm -hmm. you know, when I, I always wanted a microscope. Really, you know? <laughs> I loved them. When I went to college, that was one of my gifts to myself was microscopes. So I just wanted to look at everything. I was just always so curious. Nice. So I, I've always wanted to do this since I was nine years old. So I had a cousin. He passed away uh, due to renal cell carcinoma, and we were like the best of friends. And so, and it oh, took shit, him. Condolences. My apologies. Yeah, yeah, I mean it was so long ago, but it just took him so fast, and yeah. it was such an ugly disease that it was something that I was just like, yeah, I want to find a cure for. You know, I wanted to find yeah. a cure, and so that was what my entire life had been was going to school like I went to um, college a uh, high school of medical professions and okay. then, so I, I mean I always knew that I was going to be a medical profession so I gotcha. worked everywhere the morgue <laughs> everywhere I was wow. that person and um, 
I went to Texas A&M and that was my, my major was, uh, undergrad major was biomedical science. And then I, my graduate major was public health epidemiology. And so- Okay, wow, I, okay. Yeah, and so I just, I always want to do it. And so I finally did it. I was able to uh, break into the research world. And for the past five years, I worked on uh, cancer studies. So I did okay. oncology studies. So this year, because of COVID and everything that changed. Um, so I'm working on uh, helping with, you know, the COVID vaccine. So nice. Ooh, wow. Damn, now that is a big deal. That, yeah, that's, she told me that on the way in when I, mean, I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Like, so you took like basically all of the world scientists now are diverted yeah. to COVID pretty much. Is? Wow. Pretty much that's everyone, neat. all of my friends who've been doing this and, um, I mean, we're all clinical research associates, mm -hmm. but people are like, what in the world is that? Yeah. So it's just like, you know, I majored in biology, biologists, whatever. Yeah. Um, but mostly all of my friends that work in this same uh, industry, we're all on one of the vaccine trials for COVID. Like all wow. of us. Wow. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> mind blowing. Like, wow. Yeah. Wow. Damn, wow. I don't even know how to say <laughs> like that's just because I mean like I was just watching news when I was getting ready and I was you know going through my prep at home and I kind of wonder I was like nah she's probably doing you know other stuff but uh, that's heavy mm -hmm. wow yeah literally yeah. working on saving the world basically I mean I need you know you yeah. think about it like that yeah, I mean you think about it because yeah. it is you know pandemic Oh, yeah. It's just crazy because we said this on a show, one of your shows uh -huh. a, a while ago when you first started. We said, "Well, why they just don't take the uh, chemist majors and the biochemists and the really <laughs> smart people of the world and just find this?" And then you have someone in front of you that's talking about it. And mm -hmm. It's just I think that's why you're overwhelmed. You di you didn't expect this. No, no, I was like, I was in shock when we were walking in, and she told me, and I was like, "Can you talk about that?" You know, she told right, me right, yeah, to, to a certain extent everything. It's yeah. like. And then, you know, now you're really talking about it. It's like, wow. That's that's... Yeah, it's heavy. It's a lot. Um, I mean, they're moving really fast. Yeah. They have dosed quite a few people, in, okay. like in thousands, like thousands, thousands. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and, yeah, they're trying to hurry up and take it to market so that way we can have it out. Yeah. Okay. But at the same time, you got to go through, I'm trying to remember the phrase in high school, like, there's a scientific process, like there's theory, there's application, there's, yeah. you know, researching, writing down, you know, like side effects. And but on some, that, yeah, we do you know side effects, I mean? yeah. we call them adverse events or whatever, okay. so we've been checking it, but it's been kind of fast track, you okay. know, so they're trying to present the application to the FDA so they can go ahead and get it out because this is something that is needed. Yeah, So. True. Um, hopefully there won't be any residual side effects like 20 years from now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we, don't, point. we don't pray up on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, because yeah. That's always a possibility. Yeah. Especially because normally trials and to develop a drug takes 20 years. Mm -hmm. So to do it in a couple of months is unheard of. Well, I mean, they only can do that if it's an emergency. Like oh. right now it's an emergency. Yeah. But it's 20 years typically to develop a drug. Like Yeah, I know. Like, when I watch the world news, they talk about some even like simple stuff like, you know, heart medication. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, know, you hear heart medication doesn't really... You know, because you know, a lot of people, especially older people in the yeah. African American community, everybody's on heart medication. But that medication yeah, takes years to develop. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we don't. I mean, I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's twenty. Literally years. decades. That's two decades. I mean, that yeah. is. It's like twenty years and almost a billion dollars to develop one drug. Damn. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. <laughs> She's <Damn>. speechless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Baby. And you know, people realize too. And I don't mean to get into that whole medical thing, but. With the pharmaceutical industry, it's kind of like that's the way because they invest so many billions of dollars in all of this research. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it kind of sort of is a business and they right. got to make that money back. I mean, and that's the whole other topic about how much they charge and, you know, all that stuff. But it's like, damn, like billions of dollars just in research yeah. alone. Like, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, segue away from that. <laughs> yes, but, um, definitely. Yeah. So what got you into, so while you're doing all this, you know, mm -hmm. you're scientist by profession, trade, degree scientist. So you just wake up and say, on top of 
studying shit. <laughs> I also want to be an actress and do, you know, just Hollywood stuff. How, how did that happen? That was something that I actually really, I, I didn't have an interest in, honestly. Oh, okay. Um, right. I always loved music. I always loved to sing and, um, you know, that kind of thing. So I was like, I'm going to be a singing doctor. That was what <laughs> I thought I was going to do. <laughs> but um, it started out, like the acting started out just a couple years ago. Okay. Um, I was in California. Well, actually, I did like another film, mm -hmm. and it was just one of my friend was like, "Hey, come be in this sorority film. It's horrible. I hope nobody ever sees it." Oh, man. Oh, you gotta be yeah. curious you now. Hold on, you have one of those. You uh -oh. Know. I hope it never <laughs> sees the light of day. Oh, man. No, no, no. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but um, yeah. So I did that, and when I actually got an interest in it, it was I was in California, and someone was like, do you want to be in a movie? And if you're in California and someone says that everybody's filming, everybody's an actor, everybody's director, so you're just like, yeah, yeah whatever. So, so like, get out of my face, man. I don't even try yeah. to pick, pick me up. That's not a pickup line or whatever, you know. Like, yeah, that's what, that's what I was so, thinking. Yeah. So, he was like, well, if you're interested, you know, we're shooting this film and we need people to, you know, and it was really like an extra spot. It wasn't anything like special. Okay. I didn't have any lines right. or anything. So, I was just like, well, okay, I'll check it out. I was in California working at UCLA, so I was like, I'm not doing nothing. Let me just roll by. And if it's looking shady, yeah. I'm going to leave. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I go by, and I get there. And uh, when I get out, I see the guy. He's like, oh, shit. So he weighs me in. I'm like, okay. So when I go in, and I see people that I've seen on TV and Tyler Perry's films. And so so I was just like, oh, oh okay, this shit. is a real movie. Oh, yeah. So then I, he's like, get her in the wardrobe and hair and everything. So I, that's a, yeah, I was just like, wow. Oh, really? So I go in and I'm in the chair and one of my favorite actors comes up and he's standing in the mirror just just standing there with yeah. him like he was I'm not gonna try to front like he was looking at me like he wanted me yeah <laughs> but I you know I wish yeah. but he came up and um, he he spoke to me introduced himself I was yeah. like I don't know who you but I was just like hey how you doing <laughs> and so I was I wrote a song that was in one of his films. And so I was like, hey, I wrote this song. That, and when I told him, he said, you wrote that song? You wrote that song? He's like, I love it. And he started singing like a little bit of that song. And so I was just like, what? And so he was like, he spoke to the guy who told me to, to come on set. Yeah. And he was like, give her my phone number. He was like, I want to do some work with her, some music or whatever. So I was nice. just like, yes. Needless to say, I didn't get that phone number. Ah, the, damn. Yeah, I didn't, the guy didn't give it to me. Yeah. What the hell was he low key hating or something? Or I, I don't know. The guy he he said his phone crashed, so I didn't get it. But damn, that sucks. But yeah, it's cool. Whatever. Now you know we have, you know, Instagram Brand, and all yeah. that stuff, so where you can get in touch with people. So. Absolutely. Ah, that's dope. That just irks my skin. This was a. Beautiful story, and I was waiting for it. It was that. gonna be like a yeah, it's like, <laughs> me you know, too. Girl, yeah, it's my, it's my seat. Yeah, no, we, it's all we you know what we gonna pray for people. And like the moment that. passed, and so when I finally did catch up to uh -huh. him, it was just kind. He was like, "Hey, songbird," and whatever, whatever. But whatever film he was doing, he had already did that one. So ah, it's, crap. now That's it's awesome. just like a hey, yeah. Whatever. Damn, <laughs> I wish the actor dude could have just gave you a number directly. You know what I mean, like. Yeah. I mean, everybody thinks different. Sometimes but they think like that, though. It's well, he was leaving to yeah, go to another busy. set. But oh, okay, he, was, yeah, he, yeah. Was, he was on his way out, and he stopped to say hello, and he did take a picture with me. So I was just like, <laughs> so that was cool. Nice. Okay. But after that, I was, you know, I was kind of hooked, though. I it was. I, I enjoyed the energy. Right. It was just the energy of the set and the fact that you could just be anybody. You know, mm. you can be anybody. So... I could be a rocket scientist or whatever mm -hmm. I want, you know. But, yeah. But I think it's so cool. I think acting is good that you get to pour yourself into something and, you know, and you can kind of step outside of yourself yeah. and just be that, you know. That's dope, yeah. <laughs> Instead of like me, I just act a fool every day. You uh, know, I do that too. <laughs> I think it's a natural <laughs> thing. So. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, wow, okay, so what got you in the singing? That was just something every day, like, my, I, I come from a family and we all love to sing. We used to have a family singing group, little church group. Okay. And so mm -hmm. um, that was pretty cool. So my family, almost all of them are singers. 
and I always just loved it. Uh, one of my two of my cousins actually they pursued it seriously so okay. you know they write and mm. record and stuff um and out of those three i'm the worst <laughs> oh come on <laughs> those two. come on I mean, no yeah. because they've had time like i i did you know i went to school but they knew what mm-hmm. they wanted to do so they had uh, time to hone in on their oh, ability okay. like you know, take lessons private lessons or something not like even that. so but it was just like you know how you just kind of hone in on your craft and yeah, you just right. work on it every day every day every day until you just kind of perfect it True. they had time to gotcha. do that. Okay. so that's mm. why i say they're they're really dope so you got to Definitely wow. check out. Um, he goes by Truly Tales, my cousin Mateo Amare, but um, he's on all streaming platforms. I think I've seen you post some stuff about him yes. once. Okay, yeah, yeah, that okay. name sounds familiar. Yes, okay. So he's. Real deal. Okay. Up there. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I didn't even know you could sing until you came out with that. Um, that song on YouTube that went viral. Oh yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I, I was telling <clears> like. Oh shit! Keep like, smiling. Dude. Yeah, I'm like, damn. When you think you know your friends, like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> where did it come from? <laughs> right. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it, it did really well. It did hella good. I end up getting uh, was it iHeart Radio Station? So I have a yeah. station now. I had one. I haven't put out anything since then, so they might have snatched it back. Might snatched Aww. it. <laughs> but but um, it I did have one. I don't know if I have one anymore. But yeah. um, it was pretty cool. It it, it actually went viral again like it got up to like 265,000 yeah I pulled up right now and then it went up to nice. 336k yeah 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 it went yeah up. it's only been out for a year yeah so I gotta yeah, listen to that yeah I hadn't I didn't even this was one of the songs it came to me in a dream and I was up watching like uh Sandra Bland like the Black Lives Matter because that's what this song is about mm-hmm. um and so it I was. I remember being so upset when I went to sleep, and when I went to sleep, like the video, everything came in a dream. Yeah. So when I woke up, the song was still like playing. I could mm-hmm. still hear it, mm. and so I was trying to hurry up and write it right. down. And um, someone was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "Shh, the song is playing." You know, <laughs> yeah, you're like, in the movie, you're Yeah, playing. back away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I wrote it down, and I went to one of my friends, who's also like an amazing musician. His name is uh, well, he goes by the Painter. Uh, Gideon. Oh yeah, I've seen you. Uh, what was it? Not too long ago, you posted some. You was with them, right? Yeah, posted we performed. Some behind the behind the scenes stuff on your Instagram. Yeah, yeah. we performed um, in the Woodlands. You know how they have that uh, city center? Yeah. Oh. So we. Oh yeah, there. yeah. I remember that now. Yeah. yeah. So we had a performance there, but I went to him and I was trying to sing because I don't play the piano, so I'm trying to sing yeah. to him what it, the the piano should sound like, and he got it, and so. We together, we, yeah, we did that, and so I mean, I went to California maybe a year later, and, and it was produced or whatever because someone was listening through just my demos, and they were like, "What's that?" Yeah, and I was just like, you know, it's called "Keep Smiling." It's about this, and it was like, "This is powerful now. This mm-hmm. is needed now for mm-hmm. Black Lives Matter. This is what is needed." So it's like, I mean, I just, <clears throat> I just love the song. It's yeah, just the, that's the a song, words. especially this year. That song is needed. You know, yeah. everything going on this year. Black Lives Matter, damn pandemics, mm-hmm. all the political shit, you know, yeah. just, one heck of a year. you know. Because it's about how your smile can affect people. Yeah. So it's just like, you know, it's like, I'm going to keep smiling to the joy in me affect the world around me. Yeah. And it's like, love is all you need to be happy. And so it's like a light that you can see in people. Like when, you know, when they're happy, it's infectious. And yeah. So that's kind of what the song is about, like, you know, making love viral. So instead of hate. Because, you know, hate had been viral for so long, yeah, you know, seeing true. all of yeah. the, you know, just the senseless killings and stuff like that. It's like, why can't we make love viral? Right. You know? Good point. Learn to yeah. love a stranger. Love to, you know, just love people. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. That's, that's, that's deep. That's tough. I never know that's where it came from. So it mm-hmm. came from a dream and you woke up and you still heard it in your head. Yeah. And you're trying to hurry up and, and write it down. That, wow. Yeah. And I didn't need... I, and to be honest with you, I just, I wasn't, I didn't plan to put it out. It was just, it stayed a demo mm-hmm. because it wasn't something that I thought was my, vocally my best or, and it's not even, they classified it as country. Really? So that's how oh, it that's ended up, interesting. That's okay. how it ended up doing really well because on iHeartRadio, it peaked at number one on 13 of their stations. Wow, oh, congratulations. Yeah. 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 And so it was, it, it was classified as country. Yeah. And so I, I didn't even consider myself as a country artist. 
you know, I, yeah. I was like, I'm R and B. It's not, but I, it didn't sound R and B to me. Okay. It sounded mm-hmm. alternative or whatever. Yeah, that's so, what I thought too. Yeah. Um, okay. And that's where it took off. Was there in that market? It's funny you mention that about country because I kid you not. Day before yesterday. Mm-hmm. My TV was on Wendy Williams. I was watching the morning news, and I forgot she got into it. And, 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 and you know, our TV was just on. I didn't feel like changing it. And yeah. and she was talking about how the country community, that fan base, is so Silent. loyal. Oh my and there's God. a lot of them. Yeah, it's a lot. And I forgot how she got on the topic, and now we're talking about this. It's like, well, that proves mm-hmm. it. Like. Yeah. You ain't buy you put anything in country to go listen to it's like shit, that's, you know crazy. Yeah, if they like, support you, yeah. It they will stand like behind you. Like for sure, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I see. Damn, okay. Mm-hmm. But how'd you get into modeling? Also an accident. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, You're accident prone, but in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> right. Accident prone You're is right. the word. <laughs> um that was something that I never wanted to do. Really? No, I what? was always more of a tomboy, so I, you know, I did not want. Fuck out of here! You, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you come here looking like that, yeah, looking the way you saying. looking. <laughs> this video is on, uh, gonna be on YouTube, so, and and your tomboy. Okay, hey, okay. I'm just, I've always <laughs> been like that. Like, yeah. um, you would not have known. Like, I was yeah. the the Doc Martens baggy hoodies and stuff like that. Was that was me you? Okay, and the the jeans and mm-hmm. stuff. So, um, I mean, I dressed up from time to time yeah. and, you know, wore nice stuff, but that was my comfort ponytail. I always wore a ponytail. Um, so in college, I was just like, I need, when I was about to graduate, I was like, I need some senior photos. I haven't taken any pictures. And yeah. one of my friends, he was just like, well, I, you know, I got a camera. We could do some pictures. Let's do something by the pool. So I just went and got one of my little dresses that you, we wear to like one of the little uh, Greek Olympiads or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went and got one of those and we just took pictures by the pool and so he posted them and different people he called me maybe the next week and he's like hey people are coming to me asking me how much do you charge to take you know I believe it yeah and I I didn't know so I called one of my friends who's a photographer in Houston I was like how much do I charge for swimsuit how much do I charge for this how much so he gave me like a price list so I was like, yeah, tell them this, this is what I charge right here. This is it. Hell yeah. Um, and so um, people were like, okay, we pay it. You know, nice. it's like, that's an hour. They're yeah. like, okay. So then I did. Like, well, that's a check. You know, that's how it started. Yeah. I was like, how soon can you get ready? Yeah. Exactly. So the first no. thing I did was called the student body calendar. And it was girls from Texas A&M and from UT. So I was Miss October. Definitely boo for them. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry, you cheat. I'm sorry. That, no, mm-mm. Well, I'm going to go ahead and with you on that one. Okay. You know, yeah. you basically stole our coach a couple years ago. Okay, so Hunter, I understand so yeah. the hate rate. Yeah. You know, <laughs> hate rate going on. Yeah. But they did that. So I was Miss October one year and Miss September another year. You was Miss October? Yeah. Oh, that's going to be my birthday. I'll be down. Oh, okay. And it's coming up. Okay. Yep. birthday. <laughs> so that started it. And so um, it just kept going. And, and that. You know, it just grew into something. I was like, hey, I can make some money at this. So I started just taking little jobs, you know, just to float me to make yeah. little money yeah. or whatever. And it was cool. Like, I, I actually started to really enjoy it. And I linked up with some photographers in Houston, um, one who really, really believed in me. Um, he passed, though. And that was, oh, damn. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Shit. And so we were we were really tight. But um, his name was Doss Tidwell. And so we used to do a the lot of... sound familiar. Yeah. He okay. used to shoot a lot. He used to have, like, Model 713. That was his thing. Oh, <clears throat> I know that. Yeah. Oh, no. I do. Not that I know his work. Show? That dude's, uh, yeah, that dude's epic. We, yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah. And so we used to... I was one of his test models. So we okay. would do different things. And he would test out different lighting yeah. and whatever so um he's the one who actually got me interested in it and got me comfortable in front of the camera because i was i wasn't comfortable you know I it think, was okay. just yeah i wasn't and so i, I can understand that because i mean you know this is all like around at the cosme you used to being cooped up in a lab and you know yeah they say a tomboy is like when you're out and being photographed and you know everything goes with that posing and yeah. you know and it, hell if you're in a lab i mean you're you know you're in scrubs a lab and coat lab. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. and then go into a swimsuit and you're out there you know what i mean yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're out there yeah and so it was a little bit to just to be to turn it on and yeah. it was just almost like kind of how sasha fierce or whatever right mm. 
And, you know, it was it is like a persona that you turn on when you get in front of the camera, and, and it's just like, I don't know, it takes over, and then it's like, where all this confidence come from, you know, because mm-hmm. before you and your robe, you're like, I'm mm, take this off, and then you take it off, and the first couple clicks, you're like, okay, I kind of yeah. kind of like this. Then you know, you yeah. then you get real confident with it, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then they like, okay, bring it back, <laughs> settle down. But, yeah, it it became, you know, it, it's fun. It's it's people think that modeling is easy. And you just no, get not. in front of the camera and no. take a picture, but you know it. You end up sore at the end of those shoots because you're trying to, you know, hold certain poses or this and that. You know, it. You're sore. Your Very face true. is yeah. all feeling like you know mm-hmm. it's going crazy. No, I, I sympathize with y'all as models. And I don't know, get especially weather, because extreme like, weather conditions. I've oh, had yeah. cold heat. The it's cold. the worst to me. I can deal with the cold, but when it's too hot. Makeup peeling, ugh. Yeah, running and just looking bad. Yeah. I've been there. I did the cold in the cemetery. Actually, oh, shit. it was for ugh. this shoot. Oh. Oh, that was in a cemetery. That was cemetery. in the cemetery oh, in Gallison. And it wow. was, I was what? freezing. Yes. Damn. Killed it, though. Hell yeah, killed it. <laughs> shit. You I was saying? Free- it was so cold. Like, tears are running out yeah. of my Ooh. eyes. I was cold, and there was like a Jeez. like a funeral or whatever going on over there, oh and I felt goodness. bad because I'm running around in my little yes. skimpy outfit. That you know what, like I've had one model <laughs> ask me about doing a graveyard shoot, and, and she's asked me numerous times. I've always declined because it's like, especially with my culture being from Louisiana, it's like mm-hmm. death is something that's kind of sacred and everything. And I'm like, I would, I mean, I'm interested in the concept, but at the same time, I don't want to be out there in a model scanty class and then someone's grandmother or See, something that was, just passed that was away. The thing. I was just like, like, I was scared fuck, of being you know, disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. But they were so far off, I don't think they were paying attention to me. Okay. So I hope not, because that, that was the thing when I saw them, I, you know, and we weren't trying to be disrespectful of at course, all. Of course, yeah. Um, it just happened, they were, it was a group of people over there, so it was. Yeah, yeah, or even just someone just visiting their loved one and they happen to look up, it's like, the fuck is that over there? You know, that's what lingerie and shit. <laughs> what like, is hey, what the, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Respect the dead. Right? Respect the dead. <laughs> right? Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. Damn. But okay. nah, yeah, that's, that's good, though. Yeah. How would you link up with uh, our good friend Dicey? Dicey. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Chance. Okay, Dicey. I love Dicey. Man, Dicey is like, She's the queen of wild, sexy, and daring. Yeah, yeah, I agree. She's the queen. Yeah, Yeah, she is. Undisputed, yeah. Interestingly enough, I was debating going to law school. (laughs) Mm. And so I actually met her husband. Mm -hmm. And so. Shout out to Danny. I want to have him on the show. Yeah, Yeah. Danny is like the man. Yeah, hell yeah. And so I met him, a really cool guy. And so he, you know, let me meet one yeah. of the deans or whatever and so we spoke and um, you'll go to TSU I guess yeah or, was, okay yeah it was right by my house I was just okay. debating on going to TSU because I I thought another maroon school yes nothing's wrong with TSU nothing right. wrong with that I mean, I'm, I'm a PV guy I was like gonna go, you know I was just, just like Thursday Marshall yeah. I was going to oh, yeah, represent that's, well, I mean, that's you know, the best law schools in the country that's what I was going to represent yeah. and so right. um you know, I'm all like, let me just, well, I have to say it right now, shout out to Chadwick Boseman for the, you know, for train for a good Marshall. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that movie earlier this month. I did, like, a my own little trivia. I was like, I'm going to watch as many movies as I can in a week that he's been in. And I, yeah. and I hadn't no, seen Marshall great. prior to that week. Yep. And I was like, a friend of mine, she went to Third Good Marshall, and she was like, let me know what you think, Ish. And I was like, damn, that movie is different. I don't want to spoil too much of the people that's listening that didn't watch it. Especially that twist at the end. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, I'm going to say, yeah. you know what I'm yeah. talking about. I was like, I'm watching it, and I'm just like, yeah. holy shit. <laughs> like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I was with Danny, and he, you know, introduced me to one of the deans, and I was really debating on going to law school. Mm-hmm. Seriously, I I was taking classes to take the LSAT and everything. Okay. Um. And he's like, hey, do you like vampire novels? And I love vampire yeah. anything. And I was like, yeah. So he was like, well, have you ever heard, you know, narcoleptic vampire series? I was like, no, what's that? And he was like, my wife writes, you know, these books, check them out. So I checked her out. On, I downloaded on Kindle, bought uh-huh. the book. And I read it. I was leaving a review because I thought she was fantastic. Yeah. And um, I don't know how she saw my picture or something, but she reached out to me and was like, hey, 
kind of like you look like kind of what I'm envisioning the character to be. And so do you model? Mm -hmm. Would you like to do a test shoot? And so after that, we did the test shoot and we came up with all of these. So Danny was basically wow. soliciting his wife's books <laughs> and while trying to get oh, you into law school and say, so that dude's yeah, the MVP. And then one wow. of the photographers uh, that shoots these covers is Tim Rogers out of Atlanta. So he does a lot of... Yeah, he does some damn good work. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's really very good. good. Really Actually, good Boo, you remember that, um, that picture that Dicey used for the fire when she came on here? It's... Uh, her and that oh. like dominatrix, mm-hmm. but yeah. that's one of his. That's and awesome. had handcuffs at the bottom. Yeah, yep. that's one of his photos. Yeah, yeah, dude's amazing. Yeah, he's like one of my favorites in Atlanta. So if you ever get out to Atlanta, I'm gonna say yeah. I'm tell him Jay sent you. He will definitely he'll take care of you. Like he's okay. he'll take care of you. What's his name? Tim Rogers. Tim Rogers. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> think of that. Like, think of like <laughs> no. I was gonna say like think of <laughs> like word associate. Think of like Captain America, Steve Rogers. Yeah, yeah, Tim yeah. Rogers. Tim That's Rogers, really, yeah, because he does every. He shot like Taraji. He does a lot of like the celebrities and stuff. Mm-hmm. So he's okay. the man, and he's humble with it. Like he's so yeah. super humble. That is dope. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So if you tell him I sent you, he definitely gonna be like come through. If you a friend of Jay's, you are a friend of mine. I'm that's telling cool. you. Yeah, because that, that's great work. Yeah. He's that's good. what I'm talking about. I saw about networking. And it stuff, is. Man. It really is. The end of the day. Yep. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yep. So. And that's how we met was through. That's one thing I want to talk about too. How we met. I was at the 2014 Comic Palooza. Me and a buddy of mine. Shout out to my boy Norris. I know he's going to listen eventually. And me and Norris is walking around taking pictures, and you was out passing out flyers for the books. Mm-hmm. And so when you came, you was like, "Hey, do you read?" And I'm like. I started to say no, and I looked at you, I was like, oh, shit, she kind of cute. You know, I really I thought that went through my head. And, you know, you tell me about but you gave me a fire, and I forget that fire was red with black writing That's on right. it. That's right. And I was I like, well, so and, yeah, and, you know, it's like, you know, you tell me the booth number, the booth number was on the fire, and you was like, you going to come see us before you leave? I was like, yeah, me and my buddy go take some more pictures. And Norris is just standing over there. He's just like looking like this dude here. He think he's going to try and holler at her or whatever. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm going to swing by. He was like, and you gave me, I forgot how you said it, but you told me like in a way that you didn't think I was going to come. And I came to prove you wrong. And I showed up. And then when me and my buddy did, and you're like, oh, shit, you here? I was like, yeah, I said I was going to yeah. come. You know, that's nice. He picks me at books and. At that point, you know, both of y'all gorgeous. I wasn't even, I'll be honest with you. I had stopped listening. I was just like, well, they can already have my fucking money. Just tell me how much. Because you, you did. Buy. You got yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> and like, my buddy Norris, he's looking and he's like, this nigga about to spend, I think it was like 50 bucks for the whole set. He's like, the fuck, man? I was like, he's my, I was like y'all got, you know, y'all can take cards. Like, yeah, it's like, okay, <laughs> done. Y'all autographed him and everything. And mm-hmm. then. We took a we picture. Took yeah, yeah. Yep. Actually, that picture that Dicey posted yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. Yep. That was that was it. That was when we first met. Oh, Lord. Six years ago. I yeah. know. And that's I, yeah. And all because, like, the way you said it was like, you ain't going to show up. Don't don't lie to me if you're not going to. I was like, I'm going to come. <laughs> and I like proving people wrong. I'm like, straight shooter. I'm just yeah. like, hey, you know, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you probably like, dude, I see you looking at me. You jump shy. Like, don't, don't bullshit me. I was like, I'm going to come. Well, you know, she's talking about, okay, you know. It's like, all right. And I was like, that that one gif for me is like, okay, take my money now. Just, you know. It's like, don't have it. Have it. <laughs> You've been giving it up ever since. <laughs> Right every year, I buy something. Every year, come by the booth and hook us up and grace oh us. And then he graces us also with a photo shoot, so it's kind of like a win win. Yeah. So, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Well, got the got fastest photo fish. shoots. Yeah, yeah, but we get some gold. Oh, yeah. You know, we get some, yeah. some platinum. Hell yeah. Some good stuff. So it'd be good. And trying to, because that one at that one con when I had you on the ledge, and like going back to like, you used to talking about modeling, it's like, I remember one of those pictures, like, I took it from above and your mm-hmm. neck was kind of like messy. You even told me like don't use that picture delete it remember yeah and your neck looked at all for the form yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like what is going on I didn't even look human <laughs> right. I was like I was like you know better than that you better not put that in no no it's 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 it's, it's big on the but I still like visually remember it and yeah <laughs> it was just like this in your earlier days no this was a um, 2000 17 
Did you know? Oh, you trying a different angle. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> she was laying on a ledge, and there's a window, and they oh, over no. it overlooked the Astrodome because mm-hmm. it was at NRG yeah. uh, Center. And so I was like, okay, let me see why this looks. And so I held my hand up in the air to get like an overshot, and it just didn't look like her okay. neck was all like yeah, it was, if it was uh, broken or something. It looked, that's exactly what it looked like. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no, we're not gonna. No, do that. Yeah, well, we're like, not gonna delete that now. Camera. <laughs> I know I'm, I have to watch him delete that camera because you're not gonna come blackmail me. Yeah, who was like, you're not gonna do that. I'm like that with him. Too. Yeah, if I see some. Oh, that was like tonight. Like, I want you to delete this right because now. he always picks the one that I wouldn't have picked, and he's like, that one is the good one. I'm like, nah, uh, uh. He has wow. a different type of eye for you know, like yeah. his money shot. You know how girls be like, that's the money shot. This is the perfect. This it. The money shot for him be off something the wall. I would never. <laughs> Still like that. Yeah, I would never picked it, and I knew he was gonna pick that one. So I was like, "You gonna delete it today? <laughs> you today? You know what? You gonna delete right. it? Because um, you know him. My so other well, buddy Tim so was true. there yeah, too. Sorry. You Tim. did watch me, yeah. Tim was there. You actually watched me. He's like, all right, maybe I'll let you do it. I was like, okay, that's the trash. It's gonna ask you hit that arrow. Delete. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's yeah, so I was, funny. I was done. <laughs> <laughs> the photo shoot was over after that picture, but before yeah, that, it was. it was it was good. Before that, we got some real good stuff. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, shit. Hold on. Cause y'all know I, I archive. Damn. You bet. Now you know. What no, I, I mean I don't got that particular picture, like, but the ones from that. Uh, I was like, he, he better not pick me. <laughs> it's just funny because it's like you when you know somebody and that's just how they are. That's exactly yeah. how you know it's. Exactly and I know how I get on his nerves too because I immediately I feel so I'm not <laughs> delete that one. My I well, that's like you told right. me tonight after your guest left and you yeah. was like, let me see those pictures right now. And I'm like, I gotta set up like my chick. I was like, you know what here? Then you asked me. I was like. Nah, I'll delete it because yeah, yeah. this is a new camera I want right, you to right. I, I had just formatted the memory card for this, so I was like, I didn't want you to mess mm. anything up. So, but um, mm, mm, mm. this was one of the ones. I know you've seen that one before. Oh, yeah, yes, I have. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That was one of the classics. The, actually, the, the lady who had that, that, that dress, dress that gave yeah. me that dress to wear to the con, she put that on her page yeah. to sell that dress. Yeah. That's like, another uh, book cover look. Like for a different type of book, yep. love, affair, or that's something. That come mm-hmm. get me. Entanglement. That's what, <laughs> entanglement. Entanglement. That's, that's entanglement exactly what that looked like. Shit. <laughs> the the night, night was buddy. young. The night was young. <laughs> hey, And so were we. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Damn. You go. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, he did. That's Ish, I, I, I like, try. I do what I can on, <laughs> on my layaway budget. You know, well, just, <laughs> you know how, no. <laughs> if you're doing it, I, so I try. Um, I got actually not about this thing. Um, you know, another part of COVID, like as acting and just entertainment. Period. Like, mm-hmm. how has COVID affected you? Well, I've only I guess done one project during that time, mm-hmm. and so it was. Um, we were just kind of like, we still going to do it anyway. But I mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was the same Safely. people. Okay. So mm-hmm. uh, we were blessed that no one was sick. Good. So okay. um, right. to my knowledge, no one got sick from that. But that's the only project that I had worked on since. And I hadn't done anything really um, since then. But I do have something coming up in October. Okay. And it's called okay. Old Man Jackson. Cool. And it's... I'm excited about this one because it's uh, come written in the. you tell us back, come on, so <laughs> beans, now, come on, we want these exclusives. <laughs> <laughs> it's written and directed by um, Johnny Ray Gibbs, and he's worked with like a lot of people. Like he's an actor himself, okay. so it's really cool to, for him to see him on the other side of this. Gotcha. So yeah. uh, the last film I saw him in, he was, it was with Kevin Costner or something. You know, Damn, like okay. He, yeah, he's oh doing that kind of stuff. Mm. You know, um, Eric Roberts is his neighbor, and he works with him. And, you know, so I'm. I'm just like, oh, okay. So you nice. want me to be in your movie? Okay. okay. <laughs> so he has some really cool people. So um, he has some old fan favorites that's going to be in the movie. So we got the original Eddie Monster, so Butch yeah. Cassidy. So that's pretty cool. Okay. The dude from Office Space, Space his yeah. name is uh, Richard Real. Um, the one who got the settlement and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I think he's going to be Old Man Jackson. Okay. Um, we also have Kathy Garvin. She played Cassidy on um, 
family affair. Mm-hmm. So okay. yeah, so that's pretty cool. So I'm excited to see, and they have some other people too. Those are just the ones, the newer additions. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, I play Jasmine, so I get to bring out some of my tomboy okay. stuff. Ooh. So that's gonna be pretty cool. So I'm looking forward. And to it's that. a movie. Mm-hmm. Cool. So we start filming in October. October. Okay. And oh. Yeah, so we worked. I worked with jo- uh, Johnny Ray Gibbs on another film. It just came out on Amazon Prime. It's called Jerica Road. Jerica Road. Mm. So it's about like racism and I stuff like that. I haven't seen it, oh. but when I was looking up I need to. your bio on uh, IMDb, I saw that one. I was like, okay, I'm a prime and we'll check that out. Oh, me, okay. I am too, and I'm yeah. always looking for movies to buy, get down. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, I gotta check that out too. Yeah, so check out Jerica Road. Jerica Road. And um, okay. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. We have some other projects and stuff coming up. Uh, I'll be working with another director um, and Bernard James. So that one, I get to play an assassin. Oh, you know, okay. So that's pretty cool. So Ooh. I have to go through, um, he said extensive training, so combat wow, training. okay. So I get to actually do some fighting. So I'm excited Ooh, about that. Yeah, that sounds that. fun. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm ready to bring man, on you have to bring on the fun. <laughs> I'm about to you say know? like man, you get to dang okay. That's when the tumble wow. rules get to kick in because you fight man. Yeah, I get to fight. Yeah, I get to cool. have a gun. I get to have the you know the the sexy clothes. Yeah, it's like you know she's the bulletproof vest she's and all that dope. shit. And, mm, yeah. Nice. So I'm looking forward to that. Cause didn't you do a movie a while back? Um, Cause I saw the picture a couple of times. This was. A while back, and it was like you was a cop or something, like probably. You could, I'm trying to think of what it was, and it probably. I remember like you was wearing a badge, and it was like a group of other people, like y'all was gonna go yes. into a house or something. Okay, so that was um, Rockabye, okay. and that was by Courtney Glade, and it's right. a series. Um, oh, okay, I Courtney, I know uh, Green Eye, Green Eye, yeah, uh, but he has a uh, a play, not a play company, but a. Uh, his own production company. Yeah, Green yeah. Eye Monster. Yeah, he's done a lot of stuff. Yeah, so okay. he's doing we'll, some we'll other stuff. It. Okay, I'll check yeah. that out. Yeah, Courtney yeah. Yeah. stuff is really, <laughs> it's like on another level. Mm, yeah, Courtney is. is so talented. And yes. he, the concepts that he thinks of, you're just like, because he always has a twist to his mm-hmm. stuff. Mm. So when you look at it, you're like, what? Yeah, he works with some really, really yeah. dope people. You know, it's a lot of yeah. dope directors and stuff in Houston. So, yeah, I mean, I have to give is. a shout out to all of those people and actors. I mean, Houston is such a, a talent pool. Yeah, it's yeah. a, mm-hmm. there's such a huge pool of talent here. People don't even know, and it's untapped talent, a lot of them, you know. A whole lot of it. And it's so many, I mean, you see a lot of them on, you know, commercials and yeah. movies and stuff like that. Yeah. But there's a lot that haven't been discovered, and they're phenomenal. Like, I've had the pleasure of working with a lot of them, and they are, yeah. Sure. Nice. Yep. Nice. What so. else you want to know? I need some more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was actually going to wrap this up because I know you got to be back trying to save the world, and it's ten o'clock. I was <laughs> actually a plug. Literally, in. yeah, like, literally, world. yeah. We appreciate you so much. Absolutely, you have no idea. Thank you, thank you guys for having yeah. me. I uh, really, my pleasure. you know, I always love hanging out with you. Thank you. So I'm, I'm glad so I got long. to do that. This was just like I a mean, little break. Scorpio. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes hanging out with you. <laughs> Yeah, ish. You know, he got the little sting, but he's 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 really, you know. Yeah, he he is. Yeah, I I always say that. Thank you. I do what I can. You know, I just gotta make it make it (laughs) fun and interesting. And you know, like someone noticed the other day was like, "Man, how you invite guests on your show?" And you mm-hmm. dog their schools. I was like, that's part of my charm. This is what you do. And, then, yeah, it's like, and, and it's, people know that. It's not even on the show. Like, he dogs me almost <laughs> every day online. You know, he tries to drag me, but you know he can't because yes. he already knows. Wait till SEC like, bogus, football start. Bogus, and, and them, bogus, and them bogus. damn Aggies go like 0-9. Oh I'm going to be saying some stuff. I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just, just, you know. You know, next time I see him, have my kicks on. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, nah. I'm glad to I have just saw him muting him on Twitter. Yeah. Yeah, you did mute me the other day and about I the t- rockets. And then yeah. I tell him, hey, you're muted. I can't hear anything. Yeah, yeah. she threatened me on Twitter. She, yep. Yeah, she threatened me. She was like, I'll come to your house, whoop your ass, <laughs> go to jail. Get out! Come, come whoop your ass again! again. You so I'm gonna go and mute this right now, and I'm <laughs> like, me mad you my just threatened me. Bad. Like, should I? And he was. And probably... I wanted to cry, bro. I was really <laughs> upset. I love sports, and I hated yeah. my team losing. And you just wouldn't let it go. So, were you watching football the other night? Anybody catch the game? Mm-hmm. Which which game? Cowboys. We got what? Oh, uh, the Cowboys against the. Uh, is that the new team? No, they Nothing. play. 
Uh, uh-huh. I didn't uh-huh. catch it. Wait, wait, wait. Well, you know, that's the that's the team I don't have no grief with. Like, I respect the Cowboys' lineage. You know what I mean? Like, that's the that's the five Super Bowls and all of the Hall of Famers y'all pumped out on both sides. You know, like I, I kind of can't talk mess about the Cowboys unless they play the Saints, which is my team. That's the only time I. Don't, yeah, yeah, the Cowboys. Know. Then they, I think they played that new team. The, but the Raiders. Uh, well, the Raiders just moved. There's no other. Oh, you talking about? A, I don't oh, y'all played it. Play because I just went <clears throat> by briefly. My daddy was like, "We lost." So I was like, "Okay, well." Or, or was it L.A. One of the L.A. teams? I don't know who they played. I, don't, I was I don't just know. wondering if she caught the game because it was the first, you know, football game, and everybody. Yeah, was talking about I, it. I did, and I'm trying to think of that team. It's um, Jermaine said it's a new Rams. Oh yeah, the L.A. Rams. They they just moved. Yeah, yeah I mean yeah. it was very close though. And then I'm not gonna lie. Uh, there was a call that uh, got called on your Cowboys that really was kind of like weak. Well, iffy, yeah. And that caused the other team to get control. No, I don't like them bastards. And I was just kind of like, y'all could have let that slide. That It wasn't, the guy went back like this and they said that he was uh, in, interfering or something like that. Yeah, you, That's we watched the play and we were like, pass interference. Really? Did they just want to give it to this team because we don't know about them? I mean, I mean, sh- I mean, look how the Rams did the Saints that year, you know. I don't know how y'all didn't contest that. They y'all did try won to. That one. I'm not going to lie. They, y'all you. boys yeah. have won that one. And I, I looked and said, I can't believe it. I mean, this one game away from going to the Super Bowl and that one call just They, they played the Saints. They did. I wouldn't let that go as a fan. They, 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 no, they did. The owner and Sean Payton, the head coach, they went to the NFL oh, and they, they? they kept denying it. Yeah. And what's weird is Sean and well, well, home. well, no, and this is the thing too. Sean Payton is on the NFL committee that goes over the plays, and even he admits like, no, that was bullshit. And it's like they still denied him. They let so it yeah, because it be rigged. I think sometimes. I'm sorry. Certain favoritism, special you know, interest, and I'm whatnot. To him. It's not real. It's, Almost you know. everything is rigged if you yeah, really think about true. it. So pretty much, that's true. pretty much. I mean, and everybody, even though, you know, people have their opinions about Mm -hmm. voting, you know, that's the only way we're going to be heard. Everybody needs to get out there and vote, register to vote, you know, all that stuff, because, you know. um, And and one thing that that people people need to start voting in all elections, not just the presidential, because it starts at home and then it's it's up, you know, all these congressional seats that are up. You know, local, your mayors, your, your city council members, your, you know county judges and all that, like, everybody needs to vote. Yeah. And do your research on your candidates, too. Go out to search if you can. Everybody's busy, but, you know, a lot of these politicians, like, they hold events and, you know, yeah. even at the local, like, go out and see what they're yeah. about, you know. Hear what they're Absolutely. talking about. Yeah. Um, I was at UCLA last time, Bernie mm-hmm. Sanders, you know, when he tried it. He was out there. I went to listen. I was like... Bless his heart. And I was like... Feel the burn. And I was like, oh, Bernie. He was so sweet, but just too old. Yeah. I I don't I know. I really did. I, I like. I like. Yeah, Bernie. he he was my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to how I'm talking. Like, <laughs> because that hurt my feelings. I wanted to. Man, you look. You about really to cry like, right now. I really like Bernie. I like what he stands for. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It. One last thing before you go. Got to do tradition here speed run actually three oh I'm no gonna, wait a minute no what? Ah. <laughs> I mean I'm just gonna say three things you don't know what to say. and just bore out the first thing that comes to mind it's gonna be something crazy I'm gonna no, it's not gonna be nothing crazy it's, it's, it's always not. something crazy with you bitch. yeah favorite food pizza all right, okay. <laughs> I thought it would be some filet mignon America's or something food like it's pizza though Pizza. Huh. Damn, we're something out there. the guy that came right yeah over. yeah oh. shit okay um uh, Today's supposed to be a speed round. No, I'm just kidding. No, you actually, you're right. <laughs> I, I start thinking of these things before. <laughs> Texas or California? Always gonna be Texas. Okay. Love California, but Texas is okay. what's up. Okay, okay, okay. Um, LSU. Mm. Mm-mm. Your face, that's going to be the screenshot for everything. That's going to be a thumbnail. Uh-oh. <laughs> My younger brother, he wants to go to LSU, so, you know. Okay. Smart guy. I like him already. He's <laughs> yeah, getting he's purple and gold. 17, so he's getting ready for, you know, all of that. Hopefully all this COVID stuff. I don't know how this is going to work out with all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that's one of the schools he was interested in. I hear that he's interested in someplace else now. Mm-hmm. University of Houston, probably? No. Oh. 
somewhere At else. Oh. It's some some school, but um, we were talking about the not okay. he and I, but yeah. um, his mom. We were talking about the other day. Okay, okay. My stepmom. So I see how you kind of avoided and you brought it on your. Well, no, 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 no. You no, said no. you said LSU, first, but you didn't give me anything. Oh, else. just LSU, just this first okay, thing well, you, LSU. You, you yeah. know, just I have nothing against LSU. You are the reason why I can't stand LSU. LSU is a very good school. It's just because of you. <laughs> LSU. That's that's it. Just, okay. That's it. Fair, fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay. When's your birthday? With July 27th. Dang, it passed. It's not too long ago. Well, first off, happy belated birthday. You still owe me my gift and everything. So mm. I'll no, be accepting cash apps and everything. Oh, no, I was going to buy you some purple and gold gear. Like oh, LSU you Championship. Know, no. Leo. I thought, no, I thought you were going to buy Ball High and Galaxy and purple and gold. Okay. I'll <laughs> a per Prairie View. That's Prairie View, I, I'll even rock them because, you know, they are the sister city. I mean, sister school, school of yeah, Texas, Texas A&M. A &M. Yep. Prairie View A&M. Yeah. That's true, yeah. So, yeah. All right, fine. Yeah. Give some some prayer you get. I'll, I'll rock PB. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on that note. <laughs> we still gotta take pictures and stuff and get the hell up out of here. That's right. But <laughs> thank you so much for coming, especially on. Well, I'd say short notice and everything else you got because you got to leave here and get back to, like we said, saving the world. Can't thank you enough. Thank you, Boo, for always co hosting and, always. and thank you. working always. the internet nice stare. To meet you today. You Finally. Too. Right? <laughs> so many times. And then I was just like, she was holding up the book. I was, I was like, look, shout out to Blue, holding up my book. <laughs> but you know, I got them good. So many people say, I cannot believe that. They that didn't expect that. <laughs> that. It was good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and we only did that in one take. I just had the concept, and I was like, Oh, she did because she was like, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, because, yeah. Yeah, you know, Dicey, right? And you know what? Before she actually read a part of it, and she's like, Oh, my. I was like, Yeah, that's Dicey. Oh, yeah, yeah I did. It was like, something about. Dicey when you read the first page, <laughs> when you read the first page, <laughs> it's like, What? I was like, Oh, shoot. I was like, yes. Then I was all on the plane. I was all ashamed. <laughs> I'm all in my Kindle like my dirty book. Oh yeah, yeah. I I, mean, I, I I was afraid to take it at work when I first bought it. So I was like, I'm just gonna read this at home. Like, you know, like, to as we, we saw as she started going through the series, and I started reading more books, and then I'm seeing me on the cover. Mm -hmm. It's weird because I'm seeing me. Doing I never thought this about stuff. that. Yeah. Like oh shit! I never thought. Yeah. When she's writing in the book and I'm seeing, you know, whatever the scene is, I'm seeing me yeah. doing this stuff. So, yeah. So it's crazy. And then I, I'm always like, when's the next book coming out? When are you going to come out with oh, the next, whatever. Yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, I think this was it. Um, I think so, too. Yeah, yeah this yeah. was it. You know, she has other series and stuff. Okay. And um, I've, I've read all of her books. And they're all, and she writes, you know, fiction and non-fiction as well. Yeah. So it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, she's she dope. Hell yeah. I, I mean, none fantasy. It's yeah, fiction, fantasy, but yeah. none fantasy. Like, uh, she got romance stuff, and yeah. My favorite is Shame. Shameful. Oh. Yeah, the one came out um, year yeah. before last year. With yeah. the, the uh, lady who is interested in the kid. Yeah, she ends up having the affair I'm almost with the done 17 with that year old. Yeah, I'm really it's That's like, how you do got that one. Like, it takes you down the rabbit hole, and you're like, no, don't do it. But you're like, ooh, is she going to do it? You're like, ooh, you she know, <laughs> Yeah, because but you almost can't believe that she even considered it. You're like, so conflicted. Like, when I read that book, I was like, oh, my God, what the, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still I'm still on that because I like yeah. to read and get my undivided attention. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah, especially when the kids are gone, I'll be like, Oh yeah, yeah. Like, you got the house to yourself. Definitely and stuff. A, what they call a <laughs> tap novel. Just, yeah. <laughs> anybody want to give shout outs to? Yes, definitely. Um, there is a show coming out on Amazon Prime September 25th. You guys, please, please, right please, the yeah, be yeah. sure to tune in. It's called Utopia. I've seen them advertise that. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So um, there's a couple of people in there. Um, one I'm going to the put people, that under my save right his now. His name is Julian Griffith, and mm -hmm. you would recognize him. He played on that movie Hardball with Keanu Reeves. He played the little boy with the asthma. <laughs> he was one of the main characters. Okay. So it's pretty cool. But um, he will be in that. And September 25th, Utopia, Amazon Prime. Check it out. Nice. Okay. Thank you again for coming. I appreciate it. Yes. Um, you know, do your thing and um, go Tigers and go Cougs. Just. <laughs>
Hey, go Aggies. That's it. Okay. <laughs> you know, okay. <laughs> if you like the content of this video, then please leave a like and help share it. Also, feel free to subscribe and be sure to indicate you want notifications on all videos.